So I've been playing Elden Ring for just about 400 hours at this point, and I've never fully understood the staggering system. The stance breaks always seemed random, or at least not consistent enough to be reliable. But after some testing with Cheat Engine, I did actually find out that it is fully reliable, and in this video I intend to explain the very details of poise breaking. Starting off, as you can see, Margaret has 80 poise, and a simple light attack with a halberd does 8 poise damage to him. It takes 6 seconds to start regenerating, and at that point it will regen 15 per second. As shown in this example, hitting him before the 6 seconds fully resets the timer. Switching to a plus zero weapon proves that the damage of the weapon does not matter, the only thing that does increase or lower the damage is two-handing your weapon. And then the eight different types of attacking do different types of poise damage. Light attack for example does eight, a jumping one seven, a tapped heavy eight, a fully charged heavy does twenty-four, and then a jumping heavy does sixteen. Breaking someone's stance makes them fall over and then fully regenerate the poise, while in the recovery animation you cannot hit them. However, if you choose to go for a repost, the animation ends quicker so you can start damaging the poise much quicker. If you choose to skip the repost animation, you will have to wait much longer, but you can deal more damage. The stone barb cracked tier, the one that increases the poise damage or stance breaking, increases your poise by 25%. Weapon classes are the biggest difference when it comes to poise damage. Here you can see the different values. If I had to tell you what I think is the best class, I would say it's Colossal Swords. Red posts are kind of pathetic. Power stancing makes post damage weird, but power stancing jumping L1s are actually very strong, doing 13.5 per attack and being very quick. And here another example of why Colossals are the best, staggering Moog in only 4 hits. But any form of damage will interrupt the healing, so throwing a throwing knife at the boss will actually cause poise to stop regenerating. Resistances don't matter at all, you don't do more, you don't do less. Breaking becomes unreliable in quotation marks when you try to stagger enemies in scripted animations, for example a phase transition or in this case Moog's countdown. Attempting to stagger him in the countdown will lower his poise into the negative but then immediately make it regenerate. This is especially problematic on for example Margot, where if you break his poise as he's going into the transition, he will regenerate it throughout the entire lengthy animation leaving you to deal with basically the entire full bar, as opposed to having to deal with him not regenerating at all if you don't break it. So you need to be aware of when the boss is gonna break and which animations you cannot do it in. The best Ash of War to break stances is definitely Flame of Redman. It does 29 damage in this case, and buffed with the Crystal Tear, it goes all the way up to 38, staggering Moog in 3 hits. At this point I do have to point out that Stealth does actually increase the damage, you do 6% more damage on stealth hits. And a good contender is Square Off, which you can get literally in the beginning of the game, doing 29 poise damage, so the exact same values. And the last thing to mention is that guard counters are insanely strong. In comparison to a heavy attack, it does one extra poise damage, and it's significantly quicker. So if you prefer playing with shields, it is a great way to stagger the enemies very quickly. 